Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to Monday, day 10. So, before you ask what happened to days 8 and 9, let me explain. So, Saturday, day 8, started off really dull and miserable, didn't it, babes? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it rained pretty much all through Friday night, and Saturday morning was really just wet and miserable and horrible, as would see most days. Uh, on this holiday but anyway uh, we needed to do some shopping so uh, in the end about 11:30, uh, we took ourselves off out to uh, the closest supermarket and uh, got some shopping in and just sort of stretched our legs but to be fair sort of uh, late afternoon and into Saturday evening it um, really really brightened up didn't it and sort of got nice didn't it yeah. so uh, had a bit of a stroll around the caravan site but uh, other than that, it was just a real chill out day on Saturday. Uh, as for Sunday, well, Sunday was Father's Day. So uh, we had a table booked at uh, the World's End um, for sort of a nice Sunday lunch again. Now, unfortunately, the table was booked for two o'clock. So uh, sort of uh, slowed everything down on Sunday. So uh, Sunday morning again was sort of a bit of a chill out. Was it, I can't remember, what did it do Sunday morning? Was it nice? Sunday was yeah, Sunday was a bit, um, yeah, wouldn't it, it again? Dry, wasn't it? Yeah, it was dry, but a bit like it is today, actually, sort of. Uh, but uh, because we had the table booked for two o'clock, we couldn't sort of do much in the morning, so again, we just chilled out. You did some washing, didn't you, sir? Washing. Yeah, Karen did a washing on Sunday morning, so a little bit less to take back with us. So uh, that was sort of Sunday morning, went out for a meal. Yes, we went out for a meal at uh, the World's End. So uh, then we just come back to the caravan, chilled out, relaxed, watched a bit of telly, didn't we, and that was it. So what do we do? Around, oh yeah, we had a walk around, yeah, because Sunday evening again sort of brightened up. It seems that seems to be the sort of things at the minute. It starts off really dull, but it uh, brightens up during the afternoon evening. So uh, wasn't really nothing to film. So anyway, fast forward now back to Monday, day 10, which is today. A uh, bit of a dull start of the day. I don't know what, what is the time. It is just gone 10 past nine. But again, dull start of the day, not very good at all. Um, our plan is we're not short at the minute. We're we're um, we're in the no go. We're in negotiations for where we're going to go. Uh, Brown Sea Island is probably top of the list. Um, we have to drive into uh, sort of through Studland into Shell Bay and catch a chain ferry over uh, to um, Sandbanks, and then there's a ferry to Brown Sea from there. And that's probably what we're going to do, or Kingston Lacey. But we're, we're thinking brown sea at the minute, guys. Um, I'm going to give you a weather update now because we were just looking on the internet. So for, would you believe, so for Thursday, no, Wednesday, no, Tuesday and Wednesday, isn't it? Tuesday and Wednesday in this area, there is a severe weather warning in place for torrential rain and thunderstorms. So I don't know what we should be doing Tuesday and Wednesday, which was, what's that, my maths, 11 and 12, day 11 and 12. Might be video in a thunderstorm. But anyway, guys, plan is at the minute, we believe, is Brown Sea. Again, National Trust. So uh, we can uh, get on the island uh, as part of our membership, but uh, we have to pay for a ferry across. Anyway, guys, that's a quick update. We will catch you either on Brown Sea or Kingston Lacey, which is our next place. Kingston Lacey is a big stately home, so uh, that's another place to visit. But Brown Sea is uh, top of the list. Anyway, guys, we will catch you probably uh, somewhere near Brown Sea Island, but for now, see you soon. So guys, we're now at Shell Bay, about to catch the uh, chain ferry over to Sandbanks, and that's hopefully where we're gonna get the um, ferry to Brown Sea. And believe it or not, oh, tripped around. we've got blue skies as well, guys, blue skies. <laughs> There's a sign here, I better walk, not walk into the sign. So, uh, there we go guys, we'll catch you on the ferry. There we are, actually on the chain ferry. This is the first for us. We've never actually been a foot passenger on here. It's really good though, we didn't really pay one way. Yeah, so you free going, you've got to pay to come back. We could swim then. I think so, it's a safe pound, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, save a pound. We swim back. Oh, we swim back over there. So that is Brown Sea over there, just behind the. Uh, that's Brown Sea there. Just about to run. Uh... So here we are at the entrance to the uh, Brownsea Island. Can I go for tea and cake to start with, I think? Yeah, tea and cake. Certainly peruse the menu. So guys, here we are at Brownsea Island, so uh, we're going to have a stroll round, but before we started we had a coffee and we didn't have a cake, no no, we didn't have a cake, we had a bacon sandwich, bacon bat, and very tasty it was too, well, bacon is always tasty, so uh, I'm going to swap over cameras now, get back on the cannon and uh, take you around Brownsea Island. We're having a stroll around Brain Scene. What's this trail called? South. South Shore Lodge or something, South Shore Lookout. So Karen's in charge of the map. So I think we'll probably get lost. I've just got close to a deer, which is really Karen's just got close to a... It's only a baby deer, wouldn't it? Yeah, so when... And we've seen a red squirrel. So we're just going to have a stroll around. Peacocks. Peacocks, yes. So 
So guys, over there is Studland. I think that's Studland. I'm way in the distance, you probably can't see it very well. I'm fully zoomed in. But way over there, in about the middle of the screen, is Old Harry Rocks, and the other side of that is Swanage. How about that for an absolutely beautiful view? And I think over there is Arn. We went there last year. So guys, we made our way down what we thought was Blood Alley Step, but we're not so sure now. But anyway, we're on the beach. So that is Sandbanks and Shell Bay over there. We just zoom in a little bit. So here you can see there's a there's the chain ferry over there guys, over there. So that's that's Sandbanks over there and that is Shell Bay. So over there somewhere, I think that's Arn. There's a seagull. That's Arn over there. So I think that's the steps we should have come down, but we'll go up them instead, because that's what we like. We do things opposite. Right guys, we're on this beach. It's a beach. It's a huge beach, which looks like we're only people on it. Now we're contemplating how to get off the beach. Do we turn around and go back the way we came? Or do we carry on and see if there's some steps? So how far do you think we should go? Yeah, there's that step, sir. We could be missing the best part of the island by walking along here, but uh, we'll catch. We'll get. Oh, we'll. We'll. Well, yeah. We don't know what we're gonna do. Hmm. Ah, what's that up there? Now that might be a path. That could be. Yeah. Oh, there's a sign. We're gonna read the sign. I reckon that steps just there, folks. So uh, we're gonna go head that to there. That looks like a banister up there. See. Lots of jellyfish. Lots of jellyfish, apparently. But we're gonna head towards where that sign is and uh, see if that's a way back up to. Uh, the path. Well, as you can see, guys, absolutely gorgeous day. Probably says keep off the beach. <laughs> yeah, sign probably says danger <laughs> minefield. So, guys, we've decided to go up them steps. We don't know how much further along we can actually walk along there, but we've decided to take us half up the steps. We just had a thought actually, there might be a children's play area on the island and we could maybe find a slide of death. If we do, I'm sure we'll be videoing it. Anyway guys, we're going to dive up them steps and we'll catch at the top. So guys, we made it off the beach, but now we've got to ascend that uh, hill. Yeah, it's probably it's steeper than it actually looks, but uh, we've got to go up there. So. Uh, Hopefully they won't have to call the air ambulance out, we'll make it up to the top, but uh, we'll catch her when we get at the top. So guys, we made it. <sighs> that was hard work. <laughs> but uh, somewhere down here is the warden's cottage. I don't know uh, what's there. Oh yeah, down there. See if I can show you the warden's cottage. It'd be nice to be a warden here. But uh, if I spin round down through them trees there, is the warden's cottage. Ah. Cool. Just goes to show how unfit we are. Have to walk that ah, there's a sign coming up, so we're going to uh, consult the sign and see if we're on the right uh, track. <laughs> right, guys, we're on back on the red route, and you know what that means? We're going to get lost. No, what was on the red route? 
Oh, Arn. Arn, yeah, Arn had the red route with the uh, children's play the area children's. and uh, the slide. I'll have to look on the map and see if there is a, a children's area. Oh, yeah, back there. <gasps> peacock, look, on the, on the, the, the table. There's a peacock. Wow. Yeah, shouting his mouth off. So anyway, we're heading towards, what's this, Safe Lodge? Yeah. So uh, it's not a massive amount to see at the minute, guys. You can hear us both puffing and panting, that just goes to show how unfit we are. But we might go and speak to that uh, peacock that's over on that uh, bench over there. Just just wait till we get round. Can you see him? Folks, he's sat. Let me zoom in when we get round here. So he's sat on that bench. Let me just try and zoom in a minute. Hold on, guys. So, can you see him? Just there on that seat. I think I might have to go stroke him. Pardon me? I'm going to stroke him. You're going to go and stroke that peacock, are you? Okay. That I've got to say. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop recording unless Karen gets savaged by the peacock, of course. Oh, Mr. Peacock. I've got nothing for you, Mush. It's amazing, Paul. Yeah, that must be the female, which he hasn't got any, any feathers. Just now, she's yeah. pecking. Yeah. Bet you there's big ants around here. Oh, look, they're just scratching don't the legs. I don't think so, no. See a few, see a few deer. Close me. What's the point, yeah? I suppose uh, they'd, they'd be uh, laying underneath the, the body of the, of the mother at night, I'd say. Safety. <laughs> oh, look, there's a mermaid. No guys, all this sort of stonework in front of us, it's not pebbles, it's actually, like, it looks like pipe, clay pipes. So you can actually see it. It's all like broken pipe, you know, the old fashioned sort of sewer pipes and all that, look at it all, all pipe. In there, so it's just all pipe, all parts of bits of like broken pipe. Far on this beach, as you can see, that's all pipe. Uh, 
Ah, Dr. Livingstone, I presume. So guys, here we are, we are about, I don't know how far, about halfway around the island I think we are. We've done a fair bit of walking and a fair bit of steps. step climbing. Beach, Took a few photographs, we've been around onto the beach. We have been to Brain Sea uh, before, and that was a few years ago. And, uh, but uh, we found some uh, trails, whether well, they've opened up the trails since we've been here last time, or whether we just missed it. But, uh, Yes, so. we're going uh, opposite way round, as Karen said. So there's a bench up in front, which may be a bit of a, a viewpoint. So as we've just come up a rather large flight of steps, I think we're going to stop and uh, have a have a rest. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon it'll be a good view up here. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah it should be a good view up here, guys. So. Uh, I'll swap back to the, oh yeah, it looks like a good view. I'll swap back to the uh, cannon now. and uh, ants. Yeah, there's a lot of ants on here. Big. What about the uncles? No. Oh, look at that view. Right, I'm going uh, to sit on this little bench and uh, have a look at the view. Yeah, who needs to go abroad? Well, yeah. Yeah, they got anger or anger. Yeah, we're going to have a look at this view, guys. So there you go guys, probably not the right lens to be using for this view, but it is absolutely a fantastic view. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. So assuming that's a part of Bournemouth over there, not Bournemouth, Pool. Seems to have clouded up a bit at a minute. So you remember about halfway round then? Should we consult the map? I think we should consult the map guys as we're deciding whether we ought to go down there. Should we go up that path up there? So guys, we're still on the red route trying to find the blue route but I've been doing all the map reading today so we haven't got lost once have we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on tell the lovely YouTube folks I haven't got us lost once. Yeah, okay. No. Well it's hard, difficult to get lost here really. Oh yeah it's <laughs> yeah I mean you know there's signposts everywhere that guys I mean you couldn't get lost here could you? No. More signposts here than there was well, the here. Yeah, we haven't found the play area yet. Anyway, guys, we are sort of heading closely back to the ferry point. So uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Oh, there's a sign here. Yeah? Show me a sign. So, guys, we're at the end of our visit to uh, Brown Sea. We're back at the, uh, well, nearly the quayside, certainly back with the churches. And we've just had a, a red squirrel run straight out in front of us and uh, pose. But uh, just sat there posing. But uh, yes. there you go. So we did actually see, a, well, see several Not red squirrels, close. didn't we? Not that close. But uh, so we're at the end now, guys. So we're going to uh, make our way back to the quayside and catch our ferry back to uh, mainland. Uh, we're going to hunt something to eat in a minute. I'm not sure uh, what, but we're going to try and find something to eat because uh, I'm getting a bit uh, hungry now. But uh, as Karen said, we've had an absolutely beautiful day here. Bit of a surprise, really, considering what the weather's been forecast. So, yeah, uh, we've been so lucky again. We've been really yeah. lucky, but uh, not been the best of weather, has it? But no, every but time it's, we've gone out, it's been it's been shining upon us. Yeah, sunshine us upon it. But anyway, guys, 
I'm going to wrap it up for now. Might take a few more photographs, but uh, for a video in, that's it for now, guys. We'll catch up with you a bit later on. So, uh, see you shortly. Bye bye for now. Think he broke down? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's properly fit, though, does it? So guys, we're now at uh, Knoll Beach. It's another National Trust place, so we're gonna have a look around and see if we can find something to eat there. Oh, oh. oh great. <laughs> I nearly fell out. <laughs> Here we got a ticket, look. That's good, I nearly fell, what time is it shut? Oh, that's right. Yes, guys, so we're gonna go and find something to eat. Because I'm bloody hungry. You hungry? Hungry. Hungry, right, I'll see you later, guys. So guys, yet again, failure. What we got here, there was really nothing to eat. Oh, we had a packet. We had a packet of crisps, but uh, yeah, late, really. a bit late, really. So we're just contemplating on our next uh, move, where we have a stroll along this absolutely beautiful beach. Absolutely. Wouldn't Best believe. It absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Best bit of you wouldn't believe when we left uh, this morning what it was going to be like. But uh, so far, it's been an absolutely gorgeous day. So we're just contemplating on our next move for food. I like food. <laughs> <laughs> I like chocolate buttons as well. We don't get this figure for not like. No, food. no, no, I don't get this my body like this if I didn't like food. I like chocolate buttons as well. But for now, we're just going to have a little stroll along the beach and enjoy this sunshine because the weatherman says, if I haven't already said it, the weatherman says we got to. Severe weather coming in sometime on Tuesday, Wednesday, so uh, we might be uh, trapped in the caravan. But for now, guys, we're just going to enjoy this uh, gorgeous weather and uh, just chill out. So uh, we'll catch you, uh, I think, uh, probably catch you back at uh, either the um, food place. We've got our food, I'm hungry. I've had a pasty. I know, I've had a pasty. Oh yeah, yeah, I made a pasty, but that's only like a snack. We'll catch you in the food emporium. Food wasting. emporium? Oh my god. Plus you don't know what that means, do you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, we're in danger of walking into the sea at the minute, so uh, we'll catch you uh, shortly. We're just going to enjoy this weather. So guys, in a complete change of plan, <laughs> We've actually come to Swanage. Well, the road that uh, takes us from the chain ferry, it was either uh, eight miles back to the site or uh, two miles to Swanage. So we decided to come to Swanage because we can enjoy this absolutely gorgeous day. And there's always fish and chips or something. But uh, yeah, so that's a complete flip around, guys. So. Uh, we're just walking, uh, just one swanage. Yeah, my uh, Fitbit says I've done 17,000 steps. So, uh, we're not far off now, guys. We think we're going for a fun thing. So, we'll catch you in a minute. So, guys, here we are heading back towards the car with full bellies because we had fish and chips. Is somebody actually swimming? Still in the sea look, over there. It's about three of them, so four of them swimming. There's people swimming in the sea. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Where? Oh yeah. There's people swimming. There's people swimming in the sea. It's about what, Lenny? Half past six. Half past six, guys. People swimming in the sea. I have to say, it's an absolutely gorgeous yeah, day, huh? Yeah? You're gonna go and join them. Go yeah. on then. Off you go then. Yeah, YouTube. We'll watch that on YouTube <laughs> later. It's an absolutely gorgeous day, guys. Can't believe it. Amazing, Can't believe it. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, good evening, folks, and welcome to the end of day 10. And what a day it's been. We've had quite a busy day, haven't we, babes? 
Very busy. So uh, I think we caught the um, what, 11 o'clock? No, 11.15. No, 11 o'clock, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was the 11 o'clock uh, ferry from uh, Shell Bay over to uh, Sandbanks. And uh, then we caught the ferry from Sandbanks <laughs> over to Brownsea. So it was, must have been about uh, quarter past 11 when we got on Brownsea. And uh, as you can see by in the videos, we had a very full day on Brownsea and uh, very warm as well, wouldn't it? Absolutely uh, blistering in some places. Sorry? It turned out a beautiful day. It? Yes, it, uh, Karen said it turned out to be a beautiful day there. So uh, yes, plenty of photographs, plenty of videos. And uh, then uh, we came, uh, caught the ferry back. What time did we get back? Four-ish? Yeah. It was about four o'clock when we got back. Uh, we There was a, a restaurant uh, on the uh, Shell Bay side that we thought we'd try, but unfortunately when we got there it was uh, closed. So uh, we went in search of uh, food and uh, we ended up, uh, strangely enough, back in Swanage uh, for fish and chips, as uh, you'll see by some of the videos that uh, I've done there. Um, brilliant day, but actually brilliant evening in Swanage actually. Well, a lovely evening, wasn't it? Just, just warm. I mean, surprising uh, the start of the day, how uh, how nice it's uh, turned out to be today. So uh, I've had a very good day today and achieved all that we wanted to do. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Uh, Tuesday is day 11, which is tomorrow. Not sure of our plans. Uh, the severe weather is supposed to be moving in, I think it's tonight, but uh, looking at the skies at the minute, uh, no, I don't think so, it's uh, blue skies all around, but uh, not sure of our plans tomorrow. Uh, there's one more National Trust place that uh, we'd like to visit, which is Kingston Lacey, which is a, a big sort of stately home. Again, that's not a massive drive from the site, so we might uh, try that if the weather is uh, on our side, but uh, we're not going to know until we get up tomorrow morning. So uh, for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, day to brain sea with us because uh, we certainly enjoyed it. So, uh, so that's it, guys. See you later. Bye-bye for now.